Prince Philip's love, the painful blow dealt in the wake of Meghan and Harry's exit. Prince Philip had to wait years to pass on his male bad surname, and following Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's exit for royal life, the Duke may be dealt a painful blow. Prince Philip, 98, and Queen Elizabeth II, 94, have been married for 72 years, and while it is hard to imagine the royal family without the Duke of Edinburgh, it took him some time to find his fit within the Institute. Prince Philip was born a member of the Greek and Danish royal families and has the German surname Mountbatten. When the Queen and Philip's first son, Prince Charles, 71, was born in 1948, the Second World War was still fresh in the minds of Christians and it was thought it would be unsuitable for Charles to take his father's Mountbatten surname. Prince Philip was said to be deeply hurt by the decision, and when royal biographer has claimed he was outbroken. In Ingrid Stewart's book, My Husband and I, the inside story of 17 years of the royal marriage, she probably calls Prince Philip's reaction into not being able to pass on his surname. According to Miss Stewart, the heartbroken Duke was reported to have said, I am the only man in the country not allowed to give his name to his children. I am nothing but a bloody Amovia. However, in 1960s, a compromise was reached and the royal family created a hybrid surname to be passed on to Philip's descendants. Mountbatten Windsor came into being and years later the surname has been taken by Prince Harry and his son Archie Harrison. While Prince Philip's grandson, Prince Harry, inherited the Mountbatten Windsor surname, following his step away from Ferg, there has been speculation as to whether he will drop it altogether. Prince Harry and Meghan ceased to be walking royals in March and have settled in Los Angeles with the hope to gain financial independence from the Crown. They have now entered a one-year trial period which will be reviewed by the Queen next March. Prince Harry's full name and title are His Royal Highness Henry Charles Abbe, David Duke of Sussex. However, Mountbatten Windsor is the same name he would usually use when he needs to put one down on Prince Harry appeared to snap his royal roots on paperwork for his eco travel venture travelers in the wake of his royal withdrawal. The Daily Mail reported Harry signed paperwork Prince Henry Charles Abbe, David. Do a success and did not use his Mountbatten Windsor surname. While Harry and Meghan will keep their HRA titles, they will not use the word royal in conjunction with their word moving forward. Although Harry may have ditched Prince Philip's Mountbatten surname in a use on Archie's birth certificate meeting, Archie will continue the Mountbatten legacy official documents. Archie Harrison recently celebrated his first birthday with his parents at their new LA home. While Meghan and Harry have been protective of the son's privacy since birth, they share an adorable new video of Archie and Meghan reading together to mark the milestone. Meghan and Harry's move away from the royal bubble was in part motivated by their wish to give Archie as peaceful a life as possible. The couple have named their new venture Archiewell after the sun and are expected to launch the project once the coronavirus pandemic has subsidized enough for them to do so. Meghan and Harry will meant to stay with the Queen with Archie at Balmoral this summer. However, the special team will have been postponed amid the coronavirus crisis. The Queen and Prince Philip are currently isolating at Windsor Castle, where they are expected to remain for the foreseeable future.